there have even been some people that are talking about uh, this red team, blue team idea of reopening a debate about climate change as if it had not been going on for many decades. Is, do you have any response to that as someone looking from the outside? We've had a robust debate on climate change going on for at least 50 years, as is normal in science, because in science you only uh, get famous if you challenge the prevailing wisdom and, and bring in new ideas. And your colleagues will really uh, try to find any holes in your arguments and in your evidence. And that is how eventually only the robust ideas survive that are really strongly supported by the data. And we've now had the situation for a couple of decades that the evidence for global warming caused by human activities is so strong that it has become a consensus view in, uh, in science. So that means that climate scientists from all different countries, different cultural backgrounds, different uh, political leanings, they all agree on this because the evidence is simply overwhelming. The problem is that uh, we have discussed it for 50 years until finally the Paris Agreement was reached where all countries on this planet, 195, unanimously agreed that we urgently need to do something about it and stop warming well below 2 degrees. And I say 50 years because it, that Paris Agreement was pretty well exactly 50 years after the first official expert panel uh, advising President Lyndon B. Johnson uh, published their report warning of the global warming and the associated sea level rise etc that we would be facing. And so after 50 years of debate the, the science is certainly settled but we're running out of time to actually stop global warming in time. So now trying to reopen this debate and start all over again for a public show, I have to say, this is not a real science debate that, that is suggested there with this red uh, team, blue team. It's just a public show debate. This is just an attempt to delay climate action, but we don't have any time to delay climate action any further because within the next few years, the window of opportunity of actually limiting warming to well below 2 degrees is falling shut.